Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing great today. I wanted to come on here and show you what is probably the first video of Crossway's new full grain leather thin line Bible. So this Bible comes in uh, synthetic leather, it comes in bonded leather, it comes in top grain leather, but then now they have a version in full grain leather, which is the nicest version of the thin line Bible outside of the heirloom, which is a goat skin. And so this Bible is priced at roughly $65 on Amazon right now. Um, I can put a link down here in the description, but I just wanted to show you guys just a glimpse of this beautiful Bible and hopefully it will help you as you are looking to purchase a Bible that will last you. And so uh, let's take a look. So here's the Bible. The first thing I noticed when I opened up this Bible is just how beautiful this grain is right here. Um, I, if you've ever had a Horween Bible by Crossway, they're super expensive. Um, it kind of has a similar uh, feel in the sense of it's cowhide, but there's all of this um, grain right here. You know, when I first purchased this Bible, all of this was already in it. It almost looked like somebody had beat this thing up but I, this is brand new. I've had this Bible for less than 24 hours and it already has all of these markings, um, these indentions here in the leather. But man, it's just a beautiful cowhide leather. It's just a natural look. The full grain leather is soft, but it feels very rugged at the same time in the sense that you could throw this in a backpack you could carry this with you throw it down in fact i already dropped it this morning and it wasn't a big deal at all uh, and so that's the first thing you notice we had the blind stamping here holy bible esv logo english standard version and crossway and so guys let's let's take a look and open up this bible so as you can see here there's a paste down liner um, which i actually love paste down liner when it's done well as opposed to the edge lining because often with an edge line bible although it, it it supposedly increases the durability of the bible a lot of times what you get is a bible that doesn't want to open up flat uh, i've seen that many many times and so the beautiful thing about having a bible that's paste down like this is we're going to open it up to um, Genesis 1. Some of the pages are still stuck together here. And as you can see, the Bible opens up flat on Genesis 1. And so that's beautiful. Uh, it's really a practical Bible. Um, as you can see here, there is no art gilding. Uh, it's just a gold color with white pages. And if you've ever had the um, the heirloom version of this Bible, you'll notice that the pages here are nice and white as opposed to that cream color that's in the heirloom edition. And so I'm going to get a little closer here and show you guys the text. This is an eight point lexicon typeface. It's a standard thin line uh, typeface here. I don't think it's going to be any different than a regular thin line Bible that you would have from Crossway. The only difference is this beautiful cover here. It is a red, um, word, the words of Christ are in red here. And the red is pretty good. If you like the Thin Line Bible, you're gonna love this Bible. Um, one downside about the Bible is that it is not it is not line matched and so if that bothers you a lot you might have a difficult time reading this bible but as you can see it's very very readable and depending on the lighting um it may be a little distracting to you if you're picky uh, but for the most part i find it very easy to read and it actually feels to be a lot easier to read even than the heirloom thin line edition. And so I reached out to Crossway and Crossway told me 
that the thin line here uses a 30 GSM paper. Well, the French milled paper in the heirloom thin line is actually 28 GSM, which is a little bit of a lighter page. And with the cream color, I, I can't really explain why it is, but the heirloom seems to be the ghosting. Uh, the pages feel to be a little bit more see-through. And so just as I was reading this one this morning, I couldn't help but feel that it was a better reader than even the heirloom thin line was. As you can see, these pages are still stuck together here. Um, but personally, I feel like the readability on this Bible is actually really surprisingly good. Um, and I will zoom in here just to show you all. Uh, we do have a ribbon here and lots of people complain about these crossway ribbons and the heirloom Bibles. Uh, but the thing that I noticed about this one is actually appears to be longer than usual uh, and a little bit wider. And so with those heirloom Bibles, you got these super thin, short ribbons. But this one here, just reading Genesis this morning, it's a good length. And um, it's honestly everything I need. I don't need a super large, uh, long ribbon that they have in some Bibles. But overall, who is this Bible for? This Bible's for anybody who wants a practical Bible for personal study, personal reading, uh, it's a great all-around Bible. However, it's going to be a Bible that's going to last you a whole lot longer uh, than the imitation leather editions or the bonded leather editions. This is going to be really your best bet for an entry-level, um, I'd say, premium edition Bible. Um, you know, arguably with the paste down liner, some would say that this is not a premium Bible. Uh, but by all regards, I would say that this is a premium edition Bible. For the price point that you have, this Bible is going to last you. The leather is very high quality um, and it is an amazing overall Bible. And for me personally, you know, if I'm going to go to a prayer meeting, um, if I'm going to go and share the gospel outdoors, preach outdoors, or take this to a conference, um, I don't feel a sense of what I do when I carry an heirloom edition Bible by Crossway. When I carry an heirloom Bible, it's almost like fine china. It, it feels like the art gilding. It's like, man, I don't want to get the art gilding wet. I don't want to get... Um, any smudges on it. Um, I'm almost careful of who I let hold the Bibles because some people, when they turn the pages, they're just crinkling them. And the pages um, in those heirloom edition Bibles with the French milled 28 GSM paper, they're just kind of fragile. Um, and so they don't handle water very well. They don't handle ink very well. And so um, even here on a kind of a overcast day, a little bit of a wet day, um, carrying an heirloom Bible, uh, it's kind of like carrying a, a fragile piece of, of glass. You know, you feel like you really don't want to mess it up. You could break it. Uh, in fact, just last week, I accidentally tore a page um, in my heirloom heritage Bible. And, um, you know, that's the Wellington leather, which is super sturdy leather on the outside. But those pages, man, um, just feel extra uh, vulnerable to damage. And so when you get these uh, pages here, the Chinese pages, they feel a little bit crispier, a little bit easier to turn. You don't feel like, you know, even if I were to fold it like this, it just you can't really tell the difference. Uh, but when you're holding those heirloom Bibles, it's really easy to crinkle them up. You know, I had a drop of water land on my heirloom Omega Bible. And, you know, for about 50 pages, there was massive creasing. And it, it was just kind of uh, terrible to see just how fragile those pages were. And so honestly, when I carry a Bible like this, there's a level of practicality that you get from a Bible um, of this degree where you have the full grain leather. 
So it's almost the same quality um, as say a Horween edition Bible or a Wellington leather. You're, you're getting the full grain feel. Um, however, the materials are just a little bit cheaper, but the practicality of this Bible, I'm gonna take this with me to a prayer meeting. I'm gonna take this outdoor to evangelize. I'm gonna take this and throw it in a backpack and not be worried because also that price point of $65 is really doable it would be easy to replace and so it uh, to me this is the perfect all-around quality practical bible for pastors uh just for christians who are just wanting to dive deep into bible study and have a quality bible and so i hope this video was helpful for you guys i'm so glad you got a chance to see this new edition by crossway um, i will put the link in the description and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.